Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today I wanna to talk to you about this, which is the Gila Context E&E &E pouch. Obviously this is in multicam. First thing I'll tell you is that you can get it in 10 different color options. So they have black, they have standard OD green, they have gray, they've just got a ton of different options. So if you like what this, uh, what this pouch offers, when I run through the details, but you want a different color, lots of good options. And I got this from Military First, and I've got links down below uh, to their website. This is gonna run you $31.90 on their website. Um, I don't get any kickback from them. Uh, they reach out to me every once in a while and we partner together to bring you some product reviews. Um, I've been digging uh, into more about Helicon uh, over the last, I don't know, three, six months. And um, yeah, you'll see more of their gear. I actually reach out to them directly or maybe they reach out to me, I can't remember. Um, but I've got a bunch of gear that I'm gonna be showcasing from Helicon, just a new company that I'm becoming more familiar with. So the reason I wanted to check out this pouch is that not too long ago, I did a video on my wilderness survival kit and I used a Vanquest pouch, like an organizer, which I very much like, but a bunch of people were like, you should have a metal water bottle of some sort. And so I started digging around and this one fits a canteen really nicely, as well as a bunch of different items that connect to the canteen to make it more and more usable out in the woods. So, um, that I want to show you this. I want to show you how nicely it fits the canteen. And then I want to talk to you a little bit about kind of philosophy of building a kit. Let me give you some details on this pouch first. So the capacity is two liters. Uh, your material is 500D Cordura nylon. Your dimensions are eight and a half by six and a half by three and a half. So eight and a half, six and a half, and then three and a half deep. So a couple other details to let you know about. I mean, you can see that this top comes all the way down so that it's going to be pretty unlikely that things are going to get up in there, including a lot of moisture. This is, I would say water resistant. Like if it gets drizzled on, it's not going to be terrible, but you definitely not, you know, you're not going to toss this thing underwater and then keep everything inside. So you can see down there, there's a hook and loop panel right there. If you want to attach, not just, I mean, patches, but other gear to this thing. And it's 3.5 by four inches. And then you do have a little loop there. If you want to put a carabiner to carry some gear. There are some small pockets that run, see if you can see that, down the side. Let me grab a flashlight here and shine that in. Yep, down the side, there's a, a pocket there and then a pocket on the other side as well. And then you can see two drain holes down in the uh, in the bottom. Oh, actually, there is one more, one more pocket there on the inside as well. Let's see if we can show you that. Not a ton of internal organization, but again, you know, to me, I'm putting that canteen in here and then just sliding a bunch of things down the sides. And then there's your drain hole on the bottom. One other cool thing on the back here is that you have a pass through. So hook and loop and you could run something down here. So maybe if you had an ax or something like that, you could run it down there. If you had a, even a hatchet or even a knife, obviously you could run that down there and then run a, a hook or a um, clip, you know, over this front section. So another little feature of this bag. Um, you have molly webbing all over the front. You have it on the side, you have it on the side. And then on the back here, you can see you've got a lot of molly webbing as well. So you can attach gear to this and you can also attach this to gear. You do have a couple of D-rings here so that if you want to run a paracord or some other form of cordage, um, you can do that and then you know sling it across your shoulder and carry it that way. We also have this set up here, which is solid webbing. And then you could run this over, you know, a belt or something like that. And then you basically run this like so. Now I will tell you that as far as attaching it this way, um, it's, it's sturdy in that, you know, if you're carrying it like this, it's, I don't, unless you really yank on it, it's not going to come falling off just by the nature of how it's built. That being said, if you get hung up on something, you can pop these out. So just a heads up there. Um, what you can also do is you could run this part over a belt and then weave this through in and out, in and out, in and out. So it'd be a little bit more secure. But I do like this setup. Basically this little piece here is like, I don't know, it's one, two. It's it's folded over, so it's two layers, but there's like a piece of some sort of flexible material, but that's got a little bit more stability in there. And that allows you to slide this up like so, and this like so as well. So again, webbing on the side, webbing on the front, webbing on the side, and then your D-rings there. And then you have your clip here, to open it up. And when you open up inside, you can see nothing on the top as far as Velcro or pouches or anything like that. Um, let me take this out and give you the rundown on how nicely it holds this canteen system. So this is from the Pathfinder School. Um, this is a cool canteen, holds a lot of water, liquid, whatever you wanna carry. There's your cap. I'm not exactly even sure where I got this. I think I got this 
sent to me from uh, Poor Man's Prepping a while ago. So that's your first item. Now that sits inside this right here. Let me just move this out of the way for a second. So this rests inside here like so. So take this out, you got your canteen. And now take, unfold this, take this out, and now you have your, basically your cup with a handle. So that's really cool. Again, that nests inside this. And then this is basically a stove and it's got aeration there. So the idea would be, I'll do this the proper way, line it up like so, pour your liquid in, whatever it is. You've got your fire under here to cook it up and then take this out and you're rocking and rolling. Now, one other thing that is in here down at the bottom is the lid for this. So you can see this whole system fits really nicely into this pouch. So when you wanna put the whole system away, basically you're going to put the stove underneath like this, swing the arm around and click it in place, put it on top of here, and then that nest in here. So here's your, your entire system right there. And then that pops down into the E&E &E pouch, like so, close it up, And now you're good to go with your uh, with your system. Now, again, the reason I got this was because I thought, oh, maybe this could be a survival kit for me. You can fit other gear in here once you have your canteen system in there. Um, but the canteen system is so complete and such a nice cooking kit, I would say this is much more of a bushcraft item as opposed to like a straight up survival item. Like that stove and all those extra things, that's cool. But I just don't, you know, for a for survival situation, I'm thinking about what are the basics I need? How can I limit weight and still get... Uh, the most bang for the bucks. So, you know, the little stove and the cup and the lid, I would take that out and just use the uh, the canteen. Now, if you took that out, you drop some weight and then you have some room down the side. If you want to put a knife down one side, an emergency poncho, a fire steel, a bunch of things, you can run different things down the side of the, uh, of the pouch. And then again, if you have the proper way to attach gear, you can actually attach things on the outside as well. I have a Leatherman Signal that's in my survival kit now. Um, and it does have a loop to run on a belt, but it doesn't have a way to attach that loop to the outside here. But again, a multi-tool in here would be a great thing to do. So um, yeah, I just think this is a cool bag plus the Pathfinder system. Really cool to head out into the woods and do some bushcrafting, cooking, cook some food, you know, make some pine needle tea, that type of thing. Um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know about this E&E &E pouch from uh, Helicon Techs, available over at Military Fur. So let me hear your thoughts on this. And uh, again, if you have Helicon gear, I'd like to hear your thoughts as well as I get to know them more and more as a company. Thanks as always for checking out the video, guys. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.